I'm not going to get into the whole argument from consciousness thing. It's, uh, I think it's, you know, familiar enough to most people who've, who've thought about these matters. In essence, you know, if God does not exist, then only physical matter and physical processes exist. Only the physical world exists. But if that's the case, how could matter by chance, without design, without intention, assemble itself in such a way as to create consciousness? How do you get love from dust? Even even with you, you start with dust, even if you add billions and billions of years on top of it, how does it ever become love? What about um, what about anger, happiness, empathy, and so on? How does a material thing derived from material and nothing more develop abstract ideas? No other animal can do this. Nothing else on earth can have abstract ideas. Dolphins are very intelligent um, aquatic animals, but even the most intelligent dolphin cannot think about the idea of, say, freedom. Much less can a dolphin desire freedom. You know, much less can the dolphin look at itself and say, I'm a dolphin, I am me, but I wish I were more than me. You know, a dolphin can't do that. But if there is no God, then um, this is kind of the entire story of mankind. Man desiring to be free from himself, to be more than what he is, more than material, right? It's a very sad, terrible story. If there's no God, you have these... these, uh, biological creatures, which are ourselves, that have developed somehow this desire to not to be more than us. Um, but how could material develop a desire to be more than material? And again, why hasn't any other material developed that desire? Why hasn't any other material developed that capacity? Most of all, how could a totally physical thing originating from stardust become aware of itself. That's the trickiest thing for atheists, I think. They, they might say that, well, the brain is a computer, and so all the things I mentioned, love, empathy, anger, sadness, so on, are just functions of the um, you know com- fancy computer system that we got in our, our heads. But of course, there's already a problem with that argument, uh, because computers are designed, designed, we should say, by humans who have the capacity to, to design things like computers, because of their consciousness. So an atheist who discounts God by saying, well, the brain is just a computer, might as well discount God by saying, well, the human body is just like a sculpture. Yeah, and find me a sculpture that sculpted itself. Find me a a computer that built itself. But even more to the point, we are aware of ourselves. So it's not just awareness that the atheists have to explain, but self-awareness. How could a clump of dust, however evolved, ever come to know itself as a clump of dust? And why is it that no other form of matter or assemblage of matter has ever developed this ability? And why isn't there any computer, even the most advanced computer in the world, um, does not know itself as a computer? 